Good morning. We all woke up early. Yanni is taking Leonita to school right now and waiting in the car. And then we're going to go to a secondhand store that I found close to Kremasti. We're going to go and see what we can find. I was hoping to get some furniture for, for Leonida's bedroom. So let's see. Hey, there's also carpets here. What is this? How many people are these? So we went to a second-hand store and we found this lovely drawer for Leonidas' room. This is really strong wood, excellent quality. The man said that this is a Swedish wood. It looks like it's, it's handmade. It's really heavy. I really love the quality. Uh, he was also so excellent with the customer service he wanted to fix because it was missing a couple of these knobs. So he fixed us those those knobs and he said it doesn't uh, match the others. I said that it, it doesn't matter anything. You can't even see them in the bottom there. Uh, anyway, I'm so glad that in, in Rodos we have a second-hand store. I don't know any other store. Before there was one store in Faliraki, but they closed it. I guess it wasn't too successful. I think that the local people here, they don't really understand about the second-hand stores. They don't probably value, they don't, they are not interested to look into it and what they can find. Because you can really find treasures from these stores, which I feel like this drawer was. It's, it's tall, it's big, I can fit a lot of things inside, excellent quality, excellent material, and the price was 65 euros. It's fall now and the temperature is a little bit cooler, not cold, it's still about 27, 28 degrees outside. But in the mornings uh, we do need some long sleeves. Uh, so it's a good opportunity and timing now to go through the closets. Um, I'm going to go through Leonidas clothes today. I'm going to first take out all the clothes from the closet so that the closet is empty. I'm going to make a little mess in the bed and then I'm going to go through everything and organize them here into the new drawer. So let's get started.
what I want to do is to go out and take down the sun mesh that I have for sun protection on the west wall. We don't need that anymore, it's not that hot. And it's good to take it down before the rains start. The rains, they haven't started yet, it's already middle of October and we are still dry. The ground is still very dry. Can't wait for the rains to start. Se on jo täynnä vettä. Laita seuraavaan puhu. Jitses! Enjoy your bath. <laughs> Enjoy your bath in the mud. <laughs> and the water is running in front of her. She likes the pool, mud pool. Labradors in a mud pool. In. In. You like that or not? Yeah, she likes what? <laughs> I wanted to talk a little bit about the Greek school system. The schools here, they started uh, about in the middle of September. And the schools, they start at the age of six. And this is the schedule for a first grader. Every day from eight till one o'clock, so five hours of school every day. They have two hours every day minus one day, only one hour of uh, Greek language. One hour every day mathematics. Then there's some uh, environmental studies and learning skills. They have English language two hours a week. Uh, gymnastics, it's, uh, thank God, three hours a week, uh, three days a week, which is a good thing. But there's only two half an hour lessons. These two last ones are half an hour lessons. There's only half an hour of drawing twice a week. And only half an hour once music. It seems to me a little bit harsh. I don't know how it is in your country, but I remember when I went to school at the age of seven, I started the first grade in Finland. We started at the age of seven and we had shorter days and much more fun subjects. We started to study languages at the age of nine. I started to study Swedish and at the age of 11, we started to learn English also. At the age of 13 comes the fourth language. Uh, whatever you prefer. You can start also German, French earlier. At the beginning of every school year, the kids, they bring to their parents a list of supplies that the parents have to uh, pay for the school. 
to get, to go and buy for the school, actually. Continues here. Uh, we take this from the local bookstore, which is great because they have a very great service. They actually pack you all these uh, supplies in a bag. You can just leave the list there at the door and then they will do it for you. So it's not really too much time, effort and trouble. But it does cost about a 50 euro per kid. And some people, they are not blessed with that much money at the moment. And if they have like five kids, it's quite a lot of money for every school year. And also at the same time when starts all the hobbies, so you also have to pay for those at the same time. So every September you have to be prepared to have some money saved up for the, for the year. Also at schools there's no uh, lunch. Uh, the parents, we have to pack the kids uh, lunch in the school bag and a bottle of water or juice. There, at school there's a small kiosk the kids can buy some toast or pies. And the school bag is really full and it's really heavy. It's several kilos and on top of that I pack him a bottle of water and the lunch. The poor kid, it feels like he's carrying stones every day to school and back. Also the schools are closed often for several different reasons. A few weeks ago there was election here in Rodos and for that reason the school was closed uh, Friday and Monday over the election weekend. And then after there was a second round in the elections so the school were closed again last weekend, Friday and Monday. Also, uh, yesterday, Wednesday, uh, there was a celebration of the saint of Soroni village. Every village has their own guardian saint. And yesterday was the celebration for the Soroni saint. That was an Orthodox church day here. And for that reason, the schools in Soroni were closed. So two weeks now on a row, uh, the kids were at school only three days. In the Greek Orthodox religion, there are a lot of different kind of holidays and uh, different kinds of saints. Finally, the rain came. Hallelujah. Wonderful smell. Smell of the rain, fresh rain and a rainbow. The rain it didn't last for many minutes, but at least the ground is wet now. Maybe we'll get more later today. <laughs> 